We're starting today with a little bit of level up action after having done a lot of running around yesterday, going through a tower, going through a catacomb, uh, playing with a dragon. I think we did all those things on the same one. I mean, I think, I don't know. We did a lot of stuff, okay? We did a lot of stuff. Previous video, not yesterday. I don't know, whatever. Previous video, let's go with that. So we're going to head deeper into the forest out here and see if there's anything of interest to be found. Although we have some uh, nice red-eyed demi-humans here. They look very happy. I really, really just... Ooh, I mean, look at that. These guys are just barely alive. I mean, we just need one more hit and these guys are down. If we could just sneeze on them, they would be one-shottable, but they're, they're not. So, it is what it is. Looks like we have some big old <laughs> flowers. I was going to say plants. Flowers, plants, plant flowers. Over here. And, oh, I see an item in the middle. I'm going to run and grab that. We got uh, Golden Rune 2, it looks like. Crap, get out of the way. Those guys are not nice. I wanted to bring up the map so I could see where we are, just to see if there's anything else we're missing. And we're going to go kind of... Aha, I know where we are. Excellent. This is where I want to be. This works then. Okay. So we'll get rid of these guys here. And we have what looks like, yeah, see, I thought there was going to be a spirit spring over here. And there is. We have some ruins over here, it looks like. How you doing? That guy is pretty big. Um, I was trying to see if we could just get to him. Oh, yeah. Hi, how you doing? These guys don't have a lot of poise, I don't think. Crap. All right. I need to heal. Okay, that worked out very well. Hi. Yeah, see, that guy's not too bad. They're not too bad. I just, I don't know. I shouldn't have been on the horse, I think, is, is what happened there. If we had not been on, on Torrent, I don't think that would have been anywhere near as problematic. But as it was, hi, how you doing? Only being able to do three swings. Man, that's a killer. That's a killer. One of these days, I think I'm going to get rid of the debuff we have. I mean, just kind of looking at stats here. We're missing, like, not much health. 619. I know we have more than that. The debuff is, uh, I don't know, it is a thing. Let's keep going around over here first. I don't know what these are. They kind of look like, um, I don't know, just bundles of something. How you doing? And how you doing? Okay. And then there's a candelabra over there. We'll go check that out in a minute if I don't forget. Here, let's put a marker right there because I'm going to forget otherwise. I mean, there's a good chance I'll remember now because I have a marker there. We'll use that beacon. And I don't know, did we trigger what this place is even called? The Demi-Human Forest Ruins. Okay. So let's just kind of take a quick look around here and see if there's anything of interest in the area. It looks like there might be something over here. Maybe we need to jump in there? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, look at that. There's a downstairs right here. Let's go check this out. Not really sure what we're getting into. We've got a door right here. And a treasure chest. Hello, treasure chest. Okay. Shield of the Guilty. Holy crap, what is that? I mean, is that an actual shield? I guess the easy way to find out. Yeah, that sure is. Shield of the Guilty. It's a small shield that causes blood loss buildup when... You use strike, I guess, or maybe just generally blocking. Shield made to venerate a maiden whose eyes were crushed by briars of sin before being reborn in these lands. Venerating the repose of the soul, this shield boosts focus. The briars can be used to attack foes. Wow. That is wicked. Like, absolutely wicked. It's too bad that it has... Like, no blocking power whatsoever, and the guard boost is only 33. That is seriously cool looking, though. Like, I mean, it's awful, but it's cool. 
looks awful cool. I would like to play with that thing just kind of in general, I think. Okay, yeah. So, can't get through that way. All right, that's fine. We can go over. I don't know. that. I wonder if that thing can be upgraded enough to the point where it's actually uh, pretty decent in terms of its damage negation and its guard. I don't know. Let's go to the main portion of the ruins over here. Hi, kitty. Are you going to stand right there and be in the way? It sure looks like you are. How you doing? Okay. Let's see what we got going on in here. That is a very, very large something. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to say... Let's get some swings in. Okay, and then we're going to get out of here. I hear magic being cast. How you doing? I'm not sure what we get for... That guy. Ah, we only got five. The owl was uh, all shiny eyes. I wasn't sure if it was going to be one that's bonus souls or not. I mean, technically, there are some things that I do kind of want from the birds, even though I genuinely don't really like hitting them in the game. It just feels kind of weird and bad to me. Like, no joke, it probably shouldn't because it's a video game and I know how to suspend, suspend my disbelief and all that. But it still feels kind of icky because, I don't know, they just they look cool. They look like owls. Why would you kill an owl? That just seems like a bad idea. How you doing? All right. So we got rid of all the, the little guys, I think. Nope, there's one more over there. Okay, let's charge. Ow. Ow. Okay, Torrent, you are not needed for this part. We're going to go over here and we're just going to walk right on through. And I, one of these days, need to just move my, my thing so that when I call Spirit, I don't have to bring up the menu. Instead, I just need to put it on one of the quick slots that I can actually use quickly. Because that would be smart. Okay, I appear to be stuck, but that's all right. Oh, we hemorrhaged him. Demi-Human Queen's Staff. So that was the Demi-Human Queen, and we got Crystal Burst. Staff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, there was another guy, I thought, but maybe, maybe he went away. Let's see, we got here an Arteria Leaf. Okay. That was really cool. Let's um, let's take a look at that. So, inventory. We're going to go over to... I guess it would be considered a weapon. Demi-Human Queen's Staff. Unless it's going to be under... Is it under the seal thing? I don't know where those are. Where are you? Well, there's the, the sorcery we got. One of the glintstone sorceries of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria fires a burst of glintstone crystal shards. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion. Charging increases potency. A sorcery of the Crystal Cadre, a group of sorcerers who pursued the wisdom of stone. The secrets locked in the faint cogitation of the Crystallians. So where's the staff? That thing looked really cool, just what we saw from the the tiny piece of it. I don't know where that hides. Okay, it's under the ranged weapons. So we found the glintstone staff before, but now we have found this one. Glintstone staff styled as a scepter. A gift once given to the demi-humans to foster peace that can be wielded by even those of low intelligence, sneered at by fools in the academy. So basically, uh, this thing is not very good, is what I'm hearing. That's very interesting. So it uses the same... It has the same intelligence requirement as the standard glintstone staff of 10. And it has the same strength requirement, but the difference is that it has a, diff a better scaling on strength. I'm not sure how much that's going to matter, but uh, potentially... That might work for like a kind of a, a warrior mage type build. That's super cool. Let's go over this way now. I have not forgotten. Yeah, I like that. That was really cool. That was that was good. That was very enjoyable. So we're going to just back up a little bit here before we go that way, I think. This is kind of the other side of where all these flowers were, right? Uh, I don't remember. Here, let's run through them. I just want to see if there's anything down here, because I don't remember. There are some 
some kind of hard to reach places or um, maybe not hard to reach, but sort of out of the way places. And here we go. This is why I kind of wanted to come over here. So technically, I still haven't forgotten to go over here. Morn Tunnel. This is going to be another mining place, I believe, by the look of it. Um, my bad. Now, in my defense, I thought I, I saw a ledge. I clearly did not. Although there is one right here, so let's jump down to this one. My goodness, man. My goodness. Yeah. So there is a ledge right there. Can confirm. Oh, hi. How you doing? Smithing stone tier one. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping for something better than tier one, but that's okay. And then we'll just go ahead and jump down here where there's a ledge. Where there's also a ledge because there is actually a ledge around. And let's go ahead and touch the grace. Now, because we're in a mining place, these guys, uh, generally the miners, don't give a crap. Oh, you are not a miner. You are one of those weird beast guy things. I don't know if we've seen these yet in this playthrough, but that guy just got wrecked. And there's one that's asleep over there. So maybe what we'll do is we'll see if we can hit him with a kukri. Oh, yeah. You are dead. You are dead. Oh, and this guy's going to jump over here. Come on, Captain Platform. You can do it. This is what I was talking about before, about liking to use charge attacks and waiting until they just get in range to blast them. So what I was saying about these minor guys is that they, generally speaking, are strong against Slash. But I'm kind of hoping here that they'll be weak against Blood Loss. Yeah, there we go. That worked out okay. I didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to backstab him. So I kind of totally, completely, 100% screwed up there. Um, that guy's got a bow. Oh, dang it. Okay, just got him. That's fine. I'm not as worried about the other guys. It's the bow that's kind of the pain. The guys that are just the, the regular swordsmen, so to speak. Eh. I mean, they're not fun. Don't get me wrong. They're not fun, but... I can, I can put up with them. I do appreciate that this place is reasonably well lit. It is kind of handy. Oh yeah. How you doing? Great by the looks of it. Oh, jump into the fire. Either you know or you don't know. And I'm going to assume you know. And you're like, dude, that was excellent. So let's go ahead and backstab this guy. How you doing? And then we're going to wait just a second and charge up the power attack. Crap. I should have waited just a little bit longer there so we could get all of the swings. That's the thing with the power attack on this weapon. It's a little different from other weapons I use where the power attack is just one strike. The power attack on this weapon is a bunch of strikes, and in the case of these guys, it is kind of dangerous because they tend to have a fair amount of poise, and I don't want to be punched in the face when I'm trying to kill people. That's just not really my jam. Hi, right, can I get this guy right here? Ow. Okay. Ah! You weren't supposed to move. going to back up. And I'm going to back up. Oh. Ah! Crap-a-doodle! Crap-a-doodle-doo! Okay. Good. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab that stone. I'm not sure which way we need to be going here. Maybe this is the correct way to go because there's light over here. No, this is... Actually, this is the way I want to go, though. This works out just fine. Okay, and let's get this guy first. Ow. There we go. Get the hemorrhage on him. That works fine for me. How you doing? 
one more. We should get a hemorrhage on you. Perfect. Golden rune, quality four, tier four. Exalted flesh. Okay, that is a very handy item. My bad. And now I need to heal because someone is an idiot. Ow. Little early on that dodge. Sometimes I just want to dodge. And this game seems to be really good about hitting me when I'm trying to dodge. Which really just means that I'm not doing a very good job here of timing my dodge. That's really all it means, right? Perfect. Large glint stone scrap. Is that something that we have? I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe it is. A large piece of glintstone tinged with unstable magic found in crystal tunnels. Break gem using FP to produce a magic bolt. Poor quality and thereby easily broken. A sorcerer wouldn't give it a second look. Uh, I have a feeling that a sorcerer might not be so quick to get rid of it. I mean, in a pinch. I guess maybe if he, use, if he uses FP, not as much, but... Uh, I don't know, sometimes you just need that little extra thing and you don't want to cast a bigger spell, that sort of thing. I don't know. It seems like it would have its uses. Let's go down here. Kind of go stealthy just to see if there's anything around the corner waiting for us. This is where all those guys were, I believe. So let's go ahead and get some fire pots ready. There's two of them over there. We might be able to get... I was hoping we could get both of them with one, but I would have had to have aimed that manually, and uh, that just wasn't going to happen. My manual aiming is crap. It's an arterial leaf. We'll take that. How you doing? Hmm. I was just trying something different there to see if that maybe worked better. It didn't. Let's go ahead and take this while we're here. That's going to be the boss room down there. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this without uh, resting first. How you doing? Kind of hoping. Ooh, Iron Cleaver. Excellent. I don't think I've seen that one before. Let's take a look at that right quick. Iron Cleaver. It's an axe, even though it kind of looks like a sword-ish. Fairly large iron cleaver, commonly used by the maltreated misbegotten. So they're called the misbegotten. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. I mean, that that kind of tells you a little story right there just on its own with a whole host of things. Okay, someone is firing arrows. You. Yeah, that's the archer one. Not a big fan of those guys. Don't throw rocks at me. I mean, geez. Have some, like, respect. Okay, can we... No. Oh, holy crap, dude. Thanks for that. No thanks. But thanks. Ooh, old Fang. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity. Yeah, didn't hit that guy. I thought it might not. Oh, wow. Excuse me. That was like a super huge leap. And then this guy should be good here. I really would like to reset and get a little more health back. Some more flasks. But, I don't know, depending on what it is, we might be okay. Let's go ahead and craft some more of these guys, because I like you the fire. And then we'll just give it a whirl. I mean, we've got four pots plus one. Maybe we'll even just start with the flask of wondrous physic here, just to get us back to full health. Let's make sure there's not anyone waiting around the corner here. Just had that thought as we were coming through. I'm like, if there's more misbegotten or whatever these guys are, that could be bad. 
Uh, I'm, I like trying to look through the door to see if I can tell what's going to be in there. And I kind of think I remember who or what is in here, but I'm not positive. And if it's what I'm thinking it is, or who I'm thinking it is, then let me get rid of those because I may end up wanting the shield. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and use that guy. And then I think once we open the door, we can use the wolves. Okay, we'll just go ahead and take a step inside. Lots of, looks like lots of gold in here. Yeah, okay, so this is the big, big misbegotten. The scaly misbegotten. Uh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, dude. Oh, and there was the poise break, and you have been completely and utterly wrecked. Rusted anger. Oh, this thing is cool. Check this out. This is so awesome. It's part of why this game is so just ridiculous and great. Where is the torch? So if we look for the rusty anchor, the rusted anchor, a rusty anchor wielded as a weapon. Each of its four flukes is thick and sharp, enabling piercing attacks. When the tarnished left the lands between with their lord, one boat alone was said to have been left behind. I mean, just for the giggles, look at this thing. Look how redonkulous this is. Technically, we do have enough strength to two-hand it, I, I think. Am I reading that right? 26 strength, what do we have for strength? 20, how did we end up with 20 strength? Why do we have 20 strength? I don't honestly know, we shouldn't. Why do we have 20 strength? I'm so confused, I don't remember. Did I pump up the wrong thing? Oh, I bet it's because of the flask. I bet that's what's going on. That's that's my hunch. Okay, because I don't think we normally have 20 strength. Anyway, that's a hoot. Let's get out of here. Yeah, strength is 10 right now. I was gonna say, I didn't that didn't feel right to me, not at all. Um, before we, I oh, know we're we're fine. We have enough flaps. We're we're okay. I mean, we can probably find some more if we really need to. Just, you know, kill a thing, get some returned, that sort of stuff. I wanted to take a look over here just right quick to make sure we're not missing anything around here. I mean, there is a little bit of an area right there we can get up to. Technically, if we were to take the spirit spring, we could just kind of land right up in here. And I just wanted to see if there was anything else up here. It kind of looked like there was something, but maybe not. Mm, yeah, maybe not. Okay. I thought I saw a, uh, I don't know, some sort of pickup or something. And then if we really bounce this guy, we should be able to get all the way up to where the bridge is, which we're going to end up crossing. We're just not going to cross it just yet. So we'll go ahead and take the spirit spring back down because I want to go back. I have not forgotten. Oh, I should have picked up that mushroom. That's fine. We need to go somewhere else. So here, we're going to grab these items. Some string and some gold-tinged excrement. That's a trap right there, clearly. That's a trap. It's a trap! It's a trap! And we're going to just hop off the, the horsey here and see what we've got. So we got another guy who is uh, ghostly. And we can see his footprints going. And he's going to lead us somewhere to something. So I'm going to ignore him just for the moment because I see this item right here. Rainbow stone. I'll take that. And then we're going to pull back just to see where he is. I don't even know what's attacking. Oh, you are. Okay. Okay. Excellent. That was fine. And this guy looks like he has dropped down because we can see his feet. And I'm just going to keep going ahead, because I don't think we really need to wait for him. And I see a cave. And if this is the one I think it is... Oh, goodness, help us all. Yeah, it is. This is totally the one. 
And I don't want to do this one, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to, but I don't want to. Let's pump up dexterity a little bit. I mean, that's not gonna help our main weapon because we're, we're using blood right now. I think technically arcane would be better. I guess not. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, we're back up to 652 health. How did that happen? Oh, that must be... That's what it should be without the debuff from Fia. That's what's going on, I think. I'm kind of tempted to get Faith up to, like, 10-ish or something, but, um... I don't know. Gosh, I don't honestly know what to do right now. Let's go with Mind. I do want more FP because we are going to use more of it. I mean, I haven't really shown you what you can do with Bloody Slash. It is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go along this side right here because we're going to be SMRT about it. Now, if you're just playing and you've never played before and you walk right up to this chest, I can tell you, you're going to have a bad time. Just straight up. All that for a pickled turtleneck. If you walk through there, you are going to fall through the floor and you're going to land in a very bad spot. Like, straight up, no joke, you're going to have regrets. You'll learn next time not to do that. But the first time, it really does suck. It is just not friendly at all. Because there are rats everywhere, and we all know that rats are annoying. Especially when you jump over them. Because, you know, jumping over them is a thing. So 652, and we're down to 619 for the debuff. Okay. So if we stand right here and hit our lock on button, we can see there are at least three rats in the room. At least, there's four, okay. Now the smart thing to do would be to, oh, that's a ginormous one. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I hope we didn't need that. Smart thing to do here would be to kind of pull them a little bit. How you doing? I was hoping that would do enough Poise damage to interrupt. Big rat there, and that, that did a good job. So we're just going to use fire pots because these things are fantastic against rats. And we only have 22 butterflies left, so I'm going to have to go farm some of them, I think. Gosh, I really think I'm going to need that last flask we just used. Did not mean to do that. Okay, how you doing? You're just waiting and watching. Oh, my bad. I love when I jump over them. Oh, the Kukri, thank you. That's literally what I was thinking I'd like to have. I like those a lot. All right, let's drop down here. I mean, one of the benefits of going with a dexterity build is that the Kukri scale with dexterity. Okay, we'll pick up all these silver fireflies. I don't remember. I think I know the recipe you can use them for. We might even have it. It's going to be a little dark in here. I'm going to apologize in advance. I just, I need to have this weapon in two hands, and I probably should be using a shield instead. But I just, uh, as I have said before, not a big fan of not using it one-handed. Or I think that made sense. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'm trying to get behind this guy, because that seems like maybe the better way to go. Ow. I mean, with the big guys, it really does seem like you tend to want to be behind them. Okay, we got some good damage there. Got the roll in just in time. Ramp. Okay. Poof. Ow. I don't really want to be in this corner here. This seems like a bad place to be. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? 
I totally forgot to use these guys. I think we have enough time to summon them. If they can take a little bit of the um, aggro here, that would be spectacular. Holy crap, dude. Oh, we got a hemorrhage. Ow. And we also got nailed. And I'm trying to get to my healing flask here. Well, this is going to be good damage right here. Oh, we got a stagger on him. Come on, get out of the way, guys. This might be enough to kill him. Nope. Nope. Yes. Holy crap. I hate those things. They are just awful, and I don't know how to fight them effectively. I mean, obviously it means I just need to fight them a few more times so I can figure out what the trick is with them, but... Ooh, I don't like those things. They are terrifying. Stupidly fast, hit insanely hard, very annoying. But we got it. I think the only reason that worked is because our weapon is up at a plus five. Honestly, I don't know that I could have hung out long enough. I mean, plus three, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it would have been close. Let's take a look at the talisman we got. So we got the spell drake talisman boosts magical damage negation. Talisman depicting a blue ancient dragon. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. It's a really cool talisman, just the description of it. I don't know that I have any use for it right now, but it's a really cool description. I really enjoy that. So let's get to, let's see, I got to take a look at the map here and see where we are. Can go down there south of the lookout tower. I'm trying to remember Trying to remember, I, I want to say there's something here, but I might be thinking of a different spot. Oh goodness, which one? Which one am I thinking of? I don't remember. Let me um, let me backtrack a little bit because I think that's what we need to do now. Okay, this just takes us back to where we were. This is the spot I was thinking of. And I did not do that jump right. Let's try that again. No, actually, no, that's fine. Never mind. So this puts us on the other side of the bridge. And we have been on... Technically, we've been on this side. We just haven't been down at this level. So let's backtrack a little bit, because I'm pretty sure we've skipped some stuff over here. Yeah, there you go. Once the, the hemorrhage hits... Those guys are basically done for. So I just kind of want to make sure we haven't really skipped anything over here. Again, I might be thinking of the wrong area as we're going around here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this was not what I was thinking of. Okay. I don't know where it is then. I'm sure we'll find it. Or it's... I don't think it's back here, but it could be back here somewhere. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Let's just go ahead and go across. I'm, I don't want to waste any more of your time. So we're more or less coming into a new area here. We did sort of see a new enemy over here. I say sort of because we didn't get a really good look at him. There you are. How you doing? Got yourself a nice spear there. Ow. Kind of makes me think of like a tree ant or something like that. Like a dryad maybe. Two swings does the trick. That's pretty good. There is a spirit spring right here that'll take us down. And if we keep going up, let's just kind of stick to the up for the moment. And then we'll go down. Let's get rid of these guys. How you doing? Two swings, one-handed. Not too shabby. I don't mind that. Uh, that's going to take us up to... Yeah, let's go up that way. I'm good with that. I'm very good with that. We can only circle back. So here, let's remove that guy and we'll put a marker just to remember to go down there. Because I think 
it might just be the demi-human. I think we've already been over there is what I'm thinking. And there's not really any rhyme or reason to go back that way. But, you know, got to make sure and all that jazz. Okay, I don't like these guys. Hi, how you doing? I mean, really, it's kind of rude to just kill them. They're not really attacking anyone or anything. They're, they're being pretty cool, you know. They're being fine. There's a ghost right here. Can we talk to ghost? The mausoleum prowls. Prowls. Cradling something something. Oh, America, Queen Eternal. He is your unwanted child. Cradling the soulless demigod. That was what I missed. That right there was flawless. That was such a good reading. I hope you enjoyed that. That was really good. That's probably one of my better ones. So we got some dudes over here, including uh, coming out of the ground right now. How you doing? You're going to get back up, aren't you? Yep. So I thought... Oh, you got wrecked by the big wild swing of Yon Twin Blade. Good times for everyone except for them. We got some blood grease. That's what I was looking for earlier. I don't remember where we get the recipe for that. There's a cookbook. Gilded Iron Shield. The blood grease is just fantastic stuff and would be really good to have with this weapon in particular because I think we can actually use it. Get a sacred tear. In fact, I want to see if we can use it. Let me just swap out. We don't need those most of the time. Let's put our blood grease down there. And I just want to scroll through. Nope. Still can't use it. Okay. That's fine. I think it's because this weapon is set up to be blood affinity. So it just doesn't really work that way. Um, sorry, I was trying to change back to the Kukri. Didn't mean to click away from them. Go ahead and sit, and I'm sure we're going to be able to have a conversation with Melina. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed, return to the lands between, wage war, and brandish the Elden Ring, grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord, Lord Godfrey. So I guess we're supposed to take that Merica was sending people to war, someone to get the ring for Lord Godfrey, I guess. Well, we use the tier there to increase the potency of our flask, and that gives us a plus three now, which really happy about that. I mean, anytime we can get that a little better, I am very excited by the prospect of making it better. Much, much better. I'm just trying to take a look here to see if there's anything down here. There's an area down there for sure. And I'm just, um, let's let's go this way. I think maybe we can get down if we go this direction. Just see if there's anything around here. I'm going to guess, maybe? No, nope, that's no good. How about over here? Is there anything over here? Aha. Uh -huh. Is that the area I was thinking of? Nope. Not the area I was thinking of. I'm looking across the way, by the way. Doesn't seem like there's anything down here. That's fine. It's basically just water down there, so that is definitely not the area I was thinking. I was thinking of kind of an area where there's a, a little bit of a, a canyon, and there's uh, something at the bottom of the canyon, but this does not appear to be it. Let's just go to this side, and we'll go to the edge just to see if there's anything out here. Game loves to have all sorts of stuff out here. Uh, this one will be good, I believe. In fact, we should be able to go down 
Can we go down this way? I don't know if we can get down that way. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll just drop down over here. And we're kind of getting into a much larger area here. And the tree is still one of our uh, destinations, so we'll get there eventually. We're just going to wrap our way around over here and see what we have down here. There will be something, I'm sure. Because if there's not, then that is a raging hot disappointment. Hmm, okay. I could have sworn there was something down here, but maybe you have to jump onto the pillar first. I don't think we can get... Can we get through there? Maybe we can get through here on foot? And then there's something over here, maybe? 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 Nothing. Okay. I thought there was something down here, but apparently there is nothing. It is just barren and desolate and all the things that mean that there's nothing. That is great. Or how about we jump up to this guy? Is there anything around the corner here? Nothing. Okay. Well, whatever. Doing our due diligence and checking. That, uh, maybe down there. That looks promising, right? That looks promising. We didn't go down anymore. So let's do that. Surely there must be something here, like a cave or an item or a something. Or a dead end. Thank you, game. Here I am singing your praises about how there's often stuff hidden in these out-of-the-way areas and nothing. I mean, maybe I missed something, but uh, I, I definitely missed it if so. Like, did not even see hide nor hair of anything. So I'm pretty sure we don't need to go back there. I'm just remembering that was where the the demi-human ruins are. So I don't think we really need to go that way. But I do want to go up. So we're going to go up here because this is going to be the next thing we do. And I'm going to say maybe we'll have enough time to do this. I'm not sure. Here, let's go right in here. There's a door right here. And we're not going to do this just yet, I don't think. I don't even remember which one this is. Another catacomb, by the looks of it. The tombs word catacombs. I just want to get the grace and then give it a whirl and see if we can do a fight. We're going to see if we can hang. I'm not sure what to expect here. So we'll just go up here. And I think for this one, I do want to go back to the Lance Talisman because we're going to do a horseback fight. And I'm just going to kind of ignore all these guys over here. And let's queue up our wolves. Because there's a dude over here that wants to say hello to us. And technically, I would like to say hello to him, it, whatever, as well. Okay, we've arrived at the uh, minor herb tree avatar. I guess it's not a minor avatar, but it is an herb tree avatar. Okay, I'm getting stuck on horses, so I need to move. Bye-bye, wolves. Ow. Bye-bye, horse. Okay. Ooh. I did say I wanted to stay on horseback for this one. Okay, let's go and use the flask. And it is now just us. Oh, I've turned away for the big hit. Like an idiot. I was trying to get away from this gigantic cracked pot, which he just cracked right through. Okay, we need to move. I did not move well enough. Oh, we need raisins for, uh, for Horsey here. And I don't have any. Okay. Ooh, boy. I mean, we have them, just don't have any equipped. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You're going to go away next time you get hit, horse. Here, let's do this. I think that resets the health, but we need, just need to keep moving here. Zap, 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 zap. 
Those are not that big a deal. We can just keep moving to avoid them. Nope, sure doesn't. Okay. Don't hit me. Stop trying to hit me. And, um, yes. I will consume one to get the horse back. That is worth it to me for this fight. Holy crap, dude. All right. Hmm. Now, I think we can take this guy, but to give us the best chance, I went and changed the Ash of War to something that's going to be uh, dex-based. Oh yeah, that's much better damage overall, even if I'm getting stuck on gigantic jars. Move! That's a sucker move. You're gonna get wrecked if you don't get out of the way. Get out of the way, wolves! Where are the runes? I'd like to get those back. There they are, right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and use... Um... Wow, that guy is just over there doing stuff. He is really doing stuff. Okay. All the wolves are basically dead. Yeah, we're doing really good damage now that this is back to Dex. I was just kind of thinking as I was fighting him that the first go around that it, even though we did a lot of damage to him overall, come on, one more swing, that we weren't getting any sort of blood proc. So it just seems like, you know, probably shouldn't be using a blood weapon on him. This guy's basically dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Okay, you're gonna do the thing. It's fine. Oh! Getting KIC when he's getting cocky. Good up on you. But you're dead. Nope! Oh my gosh! Alright, well you know what? Just because I find it amusing... Oh, you're not dead. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> Erd Tree Avatar has been slain. And it starts raining. Opaline Bubble Tear. Crimson Burst Crystal Tear. Okay. And then there's going to be some stuff around here, most likely. So, let's look at those two things first, because honestly, I will forget. So, Opaline... Well, here's the Crimson Burst. Crystal Tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground, can be mixed in a flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction gradually restores one's HP over time. And then the Opaline one, a crystal uh, can blah, 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 provide significant damage negation. So one of them is gonna give you health back. One of them is basically going to take some damage for you. It'll absorb some damage. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like this one that we're using where we get increased damage. That, that kind of works for me. Got a regular guy over here. I'm not going to worry about you. You're fine, little scarab buddy. You don't need to worry. I'm not going to mess with you. I just wanted to go kind of do a quick tour of... Oh, I want to go over here real quick. Hold on. This is a good one. So one, two, four, five. How many do we get? Did we only get five? I think there's one more that we missed. There, we got seven smoldering butterflies. Excellent. And then we're just gonna make sure we're not missing anything else over here. I feel like there's something I've missed, but I don't know where it would have been. I think it would have been obvious, and I did not see it. So I think what we'll do is we'll call it an episode right here. I will probably meet you in the ruins for the next one. I think that's going to be where we go. I like the sound of that. And maybe we'll just leave the weapon on dexterity if we're going to be fighting skeletons or that sort of thing. So that sounds like a plan to me. Catch that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.